What's up, everybody? It's your boy Al. I figured I'd give y'all some random thoughts on my way home. Um, so I was having a discussion with some of my brothers, uh, having to pick them up off the ground um, at work, some of the guys that work for me, who were a little heartbroken uh, that Malika Andrews, uh, ESPN analyst, uh, is off the market. Not only is she off the market, um, but she is off the market with fellow ESPN basketball contributor Dave McMenamin who is, if you know Malika Malika is a beautiful sister that a lot of men desire a lot of men talk about how beautiful she is, a lot of men also talk about how she seems to have a problem with black men because anytime she has a, an opportunity to report something on a black man who has anything in his past, I don't care if it's in middle school she's going to bring it up, so a lot of brothers wanted to know, man what's up with that, why is she always seem to have these problems um, with black men and she always trying to throw black men under the bus well a lot of people got their answer or what they perceive to be the answer um, because she married Dave McMenamin Dave McMenamin is white guy short um, a lot of brothers are losing their mind I mean I, <laughs> first of all somebody should have told her when she was posting wedding photos uh, that she probably should have killed the comment section for wedding photos. I see a lot of people doing that. I see a lot of people doing that who have interracial wedding photos. Um, the photo posts to get the comment sections cut off. Uh, a lot of brothers who marry white women, um, their photos, their, their uh, comment section is, 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 is nowhere to be found. On the, now, you can, you can comment on a lot of other things, but not their wedding photos. Um, somebody should have gave Malika that advice. Man, she is being pummeled by a lot of brothers who feel like now it makes sense why she goes so in so hard on brothers and why she goes in when somebody gets drafted she brings up a fight they had they got arrested for in high school fella dies she brings up charges that were brought up against him in college even though they were dropped she just can't seem to let go of when brothers jack mess, mess stuff up now malika is a sister who is biracial she has a white mother um, she is a black father, obviously. Um, and there have been reports that her mother wrote a book uh, chronicling uh, bringing up Malika. And one of the things that was brought out was that Malika desired as a young girl to have her mother's skin color. And when her mother told her that she would not have her skin color, that Malika was, as a little girl, uh, upset and then that her mother, in response to her being upset, did not do anything to empower her as she is. Which, in a lot of people's estimation as they're wrapping their minds around it, kind of led Malika to yearn for as much whiteness as she possibly can. Now, a lot of people seen the photos of her wedding. Um, they mentioned how that there isn't a lot of color there like it's, it seems like all of her bridesmaids are white um, all of Dave's party is white looks like there's some Hispanic maybe uh, Middle Eastern uh, Indian brothers that are in those photos from all I can tell I did see a picture with Richard Jefferson a co-worker from SBN uh, at the wedding taking pictures with them so Jeff was there um, don't know if any of other don't know if Perk was there or anybody else uh, but I do know Richard Jefferson was there um, but a lot of brothers are upset and a lot of brothers say that this marrying a white man, uh, short what many people consider pedestrian, I'm not going to say Dave, the paper not long, so I don't know how he is you know, financially, but a lot of people say this makes sense, her marrying this pedestrian looking, in their estimation, white guy, um, explains why she goes in so hard on black men. And a lot of brothers are upset. Uh, they're upset because... Um, she's with a white man, and, and it and it it this this proves. I, I can't remember if I was telling my wife this or somebody this. This proves something that I've always said. That is, black men don't have a problem with black men women dating white men as long as white men don't marry the very desirable white black women. Um, we don't have a problem with the black woman being with a white man um you know, it, it doesn't it's not that big of a fuss if it's not a black woman 
that black men just absolutely fawn over. Uh, a lot of black men, even though some were upset, a lot of black men didn't make a ridiculously big deal when Serena Williams made a white man. A lot of them did, uh, but this one is hitting big with a lot of brothers because a lot of brothers thought Malik, and she is a very beautiful young lady. No, no, no lie, she's a beautiful young lady. But for a lot of black men, hearing her always try to what they proceed to be tear down black men, and then her marrying a white man, having pretty much an all white wedding party, um, just infuriated them to the point where they're calling her things like bed wench and you know, sell out and auntie ruckus and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I do see that you know that there is something there. I don't I don't know what it is. That she always has this whole thing where she wants to go in on a black man's history, even on a night that a man gets drafted. She'll you know there was one brother got drafted and she's sitting down on the podium after this young man gets drafted or when he's potentially about to get drafted, and she starts bringing up something that some charges that were brought up against him in college that were dropped, but she still you know I, I figured. That if they were dropped, she wouldn't bring them up. But she still brought them up anyways. Like, she just has to get that in. And it just seems like she has a problem with black men. For a lot of people, marrying this white man confirms that for them. Um, but I want to look at this from another angle. This might not be too popular. Of an angle. Because I was getting, uh, getting a lot of pushback at work for this uh, angle that I took. And what I want to suggest to you. Uh, as I did my brothers my heartbroken brothers at work is that perhaps Malika's disdain for black men is not solely based on her experiences being young her experiences with her mother a lot of other things perhaps a lot I'm not excusing her because she, she does like I said she does go a little bit overboard too, too overboard for me a lot of her critique of black men. But perhaps some of her critique, perhaps um, some of her critique or her issues with black men have to do with possibly the way black men, high end, high achieving, millionaire, NBA playing, celebrity black men have approached her. Now, what you're not going to convince me of is that Malika Andrews hasn't been approached by NBA players throughout her years as an NBA analyst. You're not going to convince me that she hasn't been approached by superstar ball players at her tenure. And what I can what I what I'll suggest to you is perhaps maybe in trying to give brothers a shot she was possibly, she could have been possibly because I've heard this from several black women maybe she was possibly turned off by how egotistical rude forward nasty, suggestive that some brothers may have possibly been maybe she tried to go out on a date with a couple of NBA ball players. And maybe they tried to make her do some of the most foul, disgusting stuff ever. Maybe they probably, and she seems like a romantic type, like a, a uh, she seems like the, you know, box cutter, you know, flowers, roses, you know, date night, wine and dine, young lady. And I know sometimes these ball players, man, in all sports, not just basketball, in all sports, but especially basketball, can they can try to get these girls because of their money and think they can just get them to do whatever whatever they want them to do and I, I'm I'm just saying a woman like Malika Andrews has probably coming from a two parent home been looking for a husband and I gotta be honest with you I don't see a lot of black ball players marrying women he is beautiful of, of a sister that she is. I don't see a lot of black ball players marrying women that look like Malik Andrews. I see them getting them pregnant and having multiple children with them. I see them, you know, doing stuff with them and then coming back 10 years later to talk about it on a podcast, what they got them to do in the backseat of a car. Who knows what 
ball players are trying to get her to do in the backseat of a car or in a situation where she thought she was dealing with a classy guy and he did whatever that's not so classy because he thinks his millions of dollars can afford to do I know some of these dudes, man, can just get downright disgusting, suggestive, and I'm just saying what I see is I don't see a lot of black men, high earning ball player black men marrying women that look like Malik Andrews. I just don't. As beautiful as she is, I still don't see him marrying. I see him having a lot of kids with him. I see them, you know, making them baby mamas. But I don't see him marrying them. And if she's a woman that wants the marriage and not, you know, sex in the backseat of a car, on your Ferrari, on a balcony, but she wants more than that. She wants to be old school, courted, married. Then I don't see a lot of black ball players trying to do that with black women. I see them doing it with a lot of white women. A lot of photos on the internet of black and white weddings, black ball players, white women. But I don't see a lot of black men looking to marry women like Malik. I see a lot of black men looking to get girls like that pregnant, date them for a little while and then go on to the next, put them on their team of baby mamas, Cam Newton, Nick Cannon, Neo, whoever. You look at a lot of these ball players, man, they, they're showing you who they are. You got ball players knocking up porn stars, ball players knocking up notorious thoughts, notorious girls that have been with multiple women, having multiple babies from multiple men, and they're getting them pregnant. I mean, they're not, they're not out here trying to be husbands to women like that. And I would suggest that maybe she saw that because you see people like Malika, you see people like Eve, See people like Serena. Yeah, they may have been the object of black men's affection and desire. Well, nobody trying to be a faithful husband to these women. And I'll say this, but I don't know if anybody's noticing it. But what I'm seeing from our from the sisters with power, power sisters, sisters with celebrity fortune and or fame is they starting to get out there man they're starting to dip their toes out in these white waters because they see a lot of cam newtons and nick cannons out here they see a whole lot of baby making brothers but they don't see a whole lot of rings being put on black women fingers a lot of these girls have passed with brothers they tried to date this brother and that brother and then you have a brother like um um, Russell Wilson who marries Sierra romances, rom ro romances her treats her like a queen puts on a pedestal and brothers laugh at him and say that's corny that's what women want and a lot of these these, these power sisters they starting to they starting to dip out there in these white waters man Look at the girls from the Olympics. Tara Davis Woodhall, Gabby Thomas. We're white men. I mean, you, these little girls, these little girls get to the Olympics when they teenage years, they young and awkward, they probably got looked over by black men. Gabby Thomas, little skinny self, Tara Davis Woodhall, little skinny self, when they was probably 15, 16, 17 years old, probably got laughed at or dogged out by black boys. I mean, nobody's thought about how bad black men had to treat Tara Davis Woodhall that she would marry a white dude, not just a white dude, but a white dude with no legs. And how bad were brothers to her <laughs> that she had to go there? And some of these brothers, man, I, I'm telling you, man, some of y'all need to get y'all act together because black men, a lot of these black men in power are not trying to be husbands to black women. So the sisters sit down with Cam Newton and pick him apart and you got brothers defending Cam defending all the women he didn't made baby mamas defending Nick Cannon because a lot of brothers that's what they want they want to just have as many 
pretty light skin, wavy hair, light skin. So yeah, they babies as possible. They skate all around the planet. But a lot of black women, man, they don't want that. They they want to be wives. And a whole lot of our brothers ain't trying to be husbands to these girls. They're trying to be problems and create problems and just give babies and just have be able to say, yeah, that's my baby mama. And that's not good enough for a lot of these girls anymore. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. You know, you got these girls out here, man. They going, they going with these white dudes. Because these white dudes trying to be husbands. I mean, Tara Davis Woodhall, her husband was there, you know, at the Olympics for her. He crying on her shoulder. So happy that she won a gold medal. And I saw brothers all this lame. What are you doing? Crying. Crying. What are you soft? He crying. Man, that man happy for his wife, man. He was crying tears of joy that she won. And that's the problem, man. Brothers think, brothers, too many brothers think that they too cool for certain stuff that women want from them. Brothers think they too cool now to settle down. They too cool to think that they should show some kind of sensitivity to their woman when they have success. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. All you cool brothers out here, all you cool brothers walking around here still thinking cool is y'all, y'all, y'all the cool dudes who can get all the women because in high school cool dudes think they can get all the women I'll tell you something man cool is fading away and women ain't checking for that no more women ain't checking for you with all the swag and cool with your jacket turned up in the hallway you got all the swag you got all the coolness women who want husbands ain't checking for that because they know they ain't paying off I mean they, 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 that's that's Guys, that's a problem that guys have with Russell Wilson. They think he's not cool, and the cool guy should never be able to get a woman as gorgeous as Sierra. But that cool stuff, man, all that trying to be Mr. Cool, trying to be the guy with all the swag, to do all the stuff that appeals to your homeboys instead of the stuff that appeals to your wife, and that that's not working. That's not gonna work. And again, like I say, man, like I know a lot of brothers upset about Malika, um, but um, I gotta tell you. I, I don't see all the brothers say she couldn't find a brother to marry. She, I mean, brothers that would be in her wheelhouse. How many of them trying to marry black women like that, man? How, how many, how many, I mean, how many really 28, 27, 26 year old black ball players do we see with beautiful black women look like Malika? Married, not with them, not baby mama, not none of that. Married, ring on their finger, married, household, no other baby mamas, other way, other places. Just that's your wife. This, this is us. Is like how many, how many young ball players do we see with wives like that? So, for me, I, and I'm thinking, and, and like I said, this is just me exploring maybe another angle to this whole thing. Because it, uh, like, like I said, it is growing. It's a growing thing that we're seeing with a lot of sisters in power statuses or dating and marrying, marrying more so white men. Because these white men are, they're not trying to make baby mamas. They're not trying to put a girl on a team and have three baby mamas put a girl up in his house and have two of her, two of his kids and put another over here, man. My white, these white dudes not trying to do that, man. These white dudes trying to say, I do. Everybody knows in the heart of hearts that's what a woman wants. So, it's just a thought on my way home. Just a thought. Maybe some of these dudes need to consider that uh, Malika and a lot of these other sisters Try it, brothers. Brothers ain't talking about it. Not in the way that they want them to be talking about it. So tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section. Been a while since you heard from. I know some of y'all like, who is this dude? So you see my fro and my flat top. My wife made me cut it off and grow it back because I'm a prince man and my hair does grow fast. So talk to y'all soon. I'll be doing this in the future. Probably every day. Just giving you my thoughts on my way home.